I sort of started with this old idea, which was the which is the intro of the song, and that was just the guitar riff. I was just kind of messing around with some voicings one day. I was like, that was cool. So I laid it down. The yeah, original piece of that song was just that 10 seconds or something like that. How long the intro is, and then I didn't see that song for uh, almost a year actually. That was that part that was written uh, a year before the rest of Catboy was written. <laughs> the song was gonna be about this cab driver that I met in London, okay? Who was this old English guy who was like a classic rock nut. Like, and my wife and I were in the cab with him and, and I think we talked the whole time about like The Who and Led Zeppelin and I'm like, man, this, is, this guy is awesome. He needs a song. And I think, and I was like, man, maybe it could be a Snarky Puppy song, because we were on a Snarky Puppy tour uh, when, when I was taking that cab ride. Um, and then so when I got home, I started fleshing out the eyes. I was like, man, kind of, for some reason, this song doesn't remind me of this guy anymore. <laughs> and what I noticed was that every time I was playing these riffs, my cat kept coming into, into my little studio room and staring at me and making weird faces and just kind of acting generally interested and I was like maybe this is about them <laughs> and till this day man when I play on that song one of them walks in and just kind of like kind of looks around this is not, not a kind of song that I normally would write I don't know really where it came from um, I kind of was I was thinking of, of a lot of things when I was writing it uh, I think I had just taken a walk along the Trinity River out there. It was kind of a gray, sort of an overcast day, so I think that kind of inspired it a little bit. And I, I had been listening to some of uh, my good friend Bob Lanzetti's music that he had done, and he has these kind of open, lush chord progressions, which is kind of what inspired this chorus, I think. Thanks, Bob, for that. <laughs> this one started out um, instead of the with the hump in it. It didn't have that. It was like. So it could have worked, maybe. I don't know. I just wasn't quite feeling it as much. Anytime I force something, my BS detector goes off, <laughs> you know, because if I can tell that it's forced, I just assume everybody else can tell it's forced. You know, I know the kind of people that listen to my music and and music like what I do, and, and they're very, not picky, but they know what they're listening to. <laughs> you know, it's hard to, sometimes it can be hard to, to fake other musicians out, you know. Okay. 